going to be a review of meiosis. Okay, meiosis is going to create gamete cells, and gamete cells are cells like sperm or egg cells that have half the DNA as normal diploid cells. Um, so uh, haploid, the gametes are haploids, and so they have half the normal amount of DNA. Diploid cells include things like brain cells, muscle cells, and skin cells that have the normal amount of DNA. So we're going to um, talk about chromosomes, and that's going to be the focus. As we draw each step of meiosis, focus on the chromosomes, because that's what you really want to key in on, um, and uh, that ex uh, ends up explaining how we go from a cell that has the normal amount of DNA to uh, uh, four cells that have half the number of DNA in them. So um, the first thing we want to do is, well, um, a cell before it even goes into prophase, it's going to replicate its uh, it's going to replicate its DNA. And uh, by the time it gets to prophase, we're going to have chromosomes, and those chromosomes are going to look like this, okay? And let me draw another one in orange, okay? And so these two uh, chromosomes, these two together are going to be called this one. To this one, they are going to be called homologous, homologous chromosomes. Okay, and that just means that um, on one chromosome, um, one chromosome might have the allele from your mom for maybe brown hair. The other chromosome might have the allele from your dad for uh, black hair. Okay, so they're going to have um, similar alleles on them. Um, but not necessarily exactly the same. Okay, but now what's going to happen in prophase one is something called crossing over. And what happens is these homologous chromosomes are going to get uh, very close to each other. And uh, eventually um, they are going to do something that we're going to call crossing over. So this is that that step. So now you have these chromosomes and part of them uh, are going to uh, cross, okay? And then eventually they're going to uh, exchange parts. And so what they're going to look like in the end is this. So what you can see here is that this uh, this chromosome here is going to this green chromosome is going to have a little bit of the orange and this orange one is going to have a little bit of the green. So that's actually going to um, that's going to uh, increase the way these uh, chromosomes and these genes were combined. Um, and so this happens all during prophase. Now let me back up a little bit. So we have um, in meiosis. We have eight phases. We have prophase one, metaphase one, anaphase one, and telophase one. And the acronym to remember that is PMAT, P-M-A-T. Now, m you might remember mitosis goes through uh, PMAT uh, one time. However, meiosis, uh, because we have four cells that appear at the, um, at the end, um, we're going to go through PMAT twice. So these, this is PMAT, this is the second set of PMAT. So here you're going to have prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. Okay, so now um, once you have these homologous chromosomes, and, um, and then we remember they're uh, held together by a centromere in the middle, and each one here, if we draw this, each one here, this chromosome to this chromosome, sorry, chromatid, these are called sister sister chrome chromatids, and they're going to share the exact same DNA, both, um, uh, at least before crossing over. Um, this chromatid that goes from here to here is going to have the same exact DNA as this one. Okay, now, without further ado, let's draw these stages. So, prophase one, we have our cell, okay? And then we are going to have our chromosome. So, you're going to have the chromosomes here, here, and here, and they are going to find their um, their homologous chromosomes. Okay, and uh, something else that happens 
is that the nucleus is gone by this point, and the centrioles and spindle fibers are migrating to the pole. So we can draw those really fast right here and here, and right here and right here, and spindle fibers are starting to form. Now, by metaphase, now uh, we have the cell membrane. Now, that's called metaphase because the chromosomes are in the middle. So if we draw a little line here, this represents the middle of the cell, um, or called the equator. And then the chromosomes will line up. So you might have one green over here and two green on the right side. That's OK. Um, they're going to um, switch around like that. And then you're going to have um, the orange ones. So here you have two orange on the left, one orange on the right. Now, um, in reality, you'd have a lot more chromosomes than this. We're just simplifying this and uh, showing just um, how, where six chromosomes end up. Um, but if you wanted to do this uh, for real, you'd do um, 46 chromosomes. That would just take quite a long time. All right. Now, um, anaphase. What's going to happen then? Oh, let me go back to metaphase. So you have uh, the centrioles here and here, and they're going to connect, uh, the spindle fibers are going to connect to the chromosomes. And what's going to end up happening is anaphase stands for away. So now you're going to have the centrioles here, and then you're going to start having chromosomes being pulled to opposite sides of the cell. Okay, there are the spindle fibers. And then we can draw here, we can draw the, the ones that are in orange as well. We can't forget about those. So anaphase, the chromosomes are moving away from the middle. Okay, we can draw that middle right there. Okay. So um, these homologous chromosomes, they split, and now they're going to opposite sides. Okay, now telophase. So telophase is when the cell is going to be much longer, okay? And uh, then you are going to have chromosomes on each side. The spindle fibers and the centrioles start to disappear, okay? Okay, and then you're gonna have a nucleus. Okay, you're going to have a nucleus surrounding these cells and a nucleus surrounding these, I'm mean, sorry, these chromosomes. So now you have two nuclei, and after telophase one, the cell is actually going to enter cytokinesis, and it's going to split right here. And so now you have two cells, okay? Um, you went from one cell to two, okay? Now you're going to go to prophase two, okay? And prophase two is uh, actually going to be similar to the prophase in mitosis. So that's going to look like this. Um, now you have two cells, and actually we're not. We're just going to focus on one of these cells. So now you have one of these cells, and you have the spindle fibers. Okay, and uh, so they're starting to form. I'm sorry. These are the centrioles. The spindle fibers starting to form, and then you are going to have the chromosomes that are starting to form again, okay? All right, nucleus is gone. Now, by metaphase two, what's gonna happen? We have the cell membrane, and now what's gonna happen is the chromosomes are going to line up in the middle again. Okay, metaphase middle. Now uh, you have the spindle fibers here and here. Oh, I keep calling these spindle fibers. They're the centrioles. The spindle fibers are what is going to connect to the centromeres on the chromosomes. Like that. Okay. Now you have anaphase. So um, during this point, the cell is getting longer, more oval-like, and it is here where the, um, now these are 
the cro uh, sister chromatids. So you have two sister chromatids in each chromosome. But what's going to happen here is now there's a game of tug of war. These uh, spindle fibers are pulling really hard on these chromosomes. Finally, the sister chromatids will split. And so you see that splitting during um, anaphase. Okay. All right. And so these are the chromosome, uh, the sister chromatids, and they're being pulled to this side, each side of the cell. Okay. Right? Just like that. Finally, we're at telophase. The cell is very oval. And now you have the chromosomes that are on either side. The spindle fibers and centrioles dissolve. They're no longer in the picture. And now you have Um, two nuclei form and a dotted line. Actually, I'm going to make this a full line to represent that these two cells have split. Now remember, here you're actually going to have this twice. So you're going to have this times two. So you're going to end up with four cells. This is going to happen twice. And if you'd like to visualize that, you can um, you can draw, I can draw maybe another cell right here with um, two nuclei. I'm going to draw some chromosomes. So we have chromosomes on both sides and two more nuclei. So now you have cell one, cell two, cell three, cell four. So four cells, you end up with four cells, and these are going to be all gametes. So now you started with one cell, and then you end up with four gametes, okay? And the fact that um, in mitosis, the uh, chromosomes just split one time similar to the way they did here. However, um, and that's why during mitosis, uh, they're still going to have the same amount of DNA, the full amount of DNA. Um, however, during meiosis, since the chromosomes uh, split twice, there's two splittings that happen during anaphase one and anaphase two. Because of that, two uh, that double splitting you have in this process, that's why you eventually get four cells, but each of them have half the DNA as, uh, as a normal diploid cell. Thanks for watching.